There's a company in Torrance that's on the cutting edge of lighting technology. This segment of Common Sense focuses on Electronics Incorporated. Total Pervez Slody, owner, president, uh, and no chief heat. engineer of Electronics no Incorporated, and calls his an American very, story. Uh, he was born in Karachi, Pakistan, and migrated to the U.S. Lodi is a mechanical engineer by trade. He and his wife Alma started their company in their Torrance garage 19 years ago. Even then, there was need for energy-friendly products. The Lodi seized the opportunity and began designing, developing, and packaging solid-state lighting products to America's largest industries right from their garage. Uh, due to the uh, need and... Uh you know, not availability of such a product. I started uh, designing these products for the, for the first for the defense, the government, and then the uh, larger who's who of the industrial, uh, you know, uh, environment. Even in Ledtronic's infancy, customers like Rockwell International, Cedar Rapids, and Hughes Aircraft came to them. The company was providing the aviation industry with the first reliable push-button switches. Older technology filament lamps had an extremely high failure rate and uh, the LED technology which is light emitting diodes that's what it stands for uh, basically is a solid state semiconductor you know and what it did it it, uh, it dramatically in, uh, eliminated multiple problems that this industry was having LED lights serve the industry well they are shock and vibration proof they don't get hot and they last a lifetime. It was Electronics' ability to efficiently package the light emitting diode technology that enabled the husband and wife team to quickly move from their tiny garage to bigger and bigger facilities and eventually where they are now, a 63,000 square foot building near Lomita and Hawthorne Boulevards. We have literally uh, outgrew within one to two years and had to move, uh, move about seven times in the last 19 years we have moved. The Lodis eventually brought their business back to their roots and opened up a 35,000 square foot manufacturing plant in their hometown of Karachi, Pakistan. Parvez does not attribute his success to his sales ability. Instead, it comes from his expertise in being able to solve electromechanical engineering problems. For the last 19 years, this company's growth has been with very little sales effort on our part, which is a surprise, you know. Electronics packages light emitting diodes into several customized configurations for different applications. The company provides every size, style, and package being used in the LED industry today. A chip is a very tiny semiconductor device. It has to be first molded into a into a plastic package. Uh, some some of these are really in different sizes. You know, three millimeter, five millimeter, axial, radial. Uh, they are sometimes molded in diffused epoxies, sometimes clear epoxies. Sometimes they are indicators, sometimes they are illuminators. Lodi says LED technology and applications have grown in leaps and bounds since he's been in business. From their simple beginnings and switches, LEDs are being used now as energy efficient alternatives to incandescent and fluorescent lighting. Our light bulbs are going into replacing power hungry light bulbs of different sizes. And we estimate that we have reduced close to 1 million watts of energy reduction in the United States per year. Each diode in the plastic bulb is equivalent to one watt of illumination. With light emitting diodes, the number of diodes will determine how much energy will come out. And these little things are diodes? That is, those are the light emitting diodes in there. Electronics produces and sells about 150,000 medium to small size bulbs a year to businesses around the globe. Uh, what we are now doing is Large, larger bulbs and I easily feel that these bulbs as they are being now initially installed in different industrial applications by, uh, by factories and industrial customers uh, and, and companies and uh, uh, entertainment parks and all that, that we will probably see uh, two to three times uh, the increase in uh, energy savings. LED bulbs use a fraction of the electricity needed to power a traditional incandescent one. For 65 watt illumination of an indoor floodlight, you only need 6 watts of energy in a light emitting diode, which is a 1 to 10 ratio. The technology is still relatively expensive because of the number of LEDs that have to be used. Each diode costs about $1 to $7 depending on the color. That's why Lodi says right now businesses are the primary buyers.
A lot of them use LEDs for emergency lighting. But there are many other cutting-edge applications that several businesses and some homeowners are already starting to consider. Right now we're in your display room and we're looking at some garden lights. Can you talk a little bit about those? Yeah, uh, these are uh, drop-in replacements in uh, Malibu-type fixtures. And uh, what you're seeing is that uh, it's, a, it's an ideal application of reducing uh, like 25, 30 watt bulbs having same amount of energy but only drawing about one, one and a half, two watts of, of light. A single solar panel is able to power this row of LED garden lights from dusk to dawn. Solar panel is set up to, uh, to show that again the LED light bulbs are very uh, solar uh, uh, you know, powered energy friendly uh, because of the low wattage. LED lights are directional and made of pure colors. They emit less light than incandescent bulbs, but they are much better for your eyes. Lodi says LED bulbs are perfect for lighting a workstation. Another uh, area that can definitely benefit in a major way is, uh, is, uh, is restaurants. And in mostly in restaurants, you will see that there is no need for where you're sitting. You just need subtle lighting where there is no uh, you know, lighting coming on your faces and all that, but more towards the food and everything. Many street lights are using LED bulbs. You can see the diodes inside these ones. But on this street light, it's hard to tell that it too is using the durable, long-lasting and energy-efficient technology. On the right side is something very unique that, uh, that we developed. Uh, uh, it is also, even though it looks like an incandescent bulb, uh, it is a 3D uh, light bulb that uh, lights up like an incandescent bulb, doesn't let you feel that it is dots of lights and all that and that is drawing only about seven to eight watts of energy and giving out illumination levels close to about 75, 80 watts of energy. Let's go over and look at some traffic, a, a vest that could be used by a traffic worker. We can do okay. that. This does is it basically alarms the uh, oncoming traffic or other vehicular traffic to, uh, to avoid this person there. Many businesses are also using LED signs like this. It uses a flexible path light uh, product that we make with LEDs spaced out at one inch apart, extremely wide angle and extremely bright. And these are, again, um, uh, one-tenth the energy per letter uh, compared to what the present uh, fluorescent uh, technology is lighting up. So this is becoming, uh, this is going to be uh, used dramatically uh, more and more uh, every day. Light emitting diodes can also be used on large structures like towers and bridges. LEDs are being used for more and more applications. Lodi says it's a struggle to keep up with the changing demands. In 19 years, uh, we are so highly challenged that uh, we literally make one to two products, new design or new uh, variations of, of, of our products, one to two per day for the last 19 years. In almost 20 years, Ledtronics is grossing $20 million a year. And I strongly feel that I have... Uh, the, the, uh, literally created a marketplace and a product line worldwide that will be growing uh, tremendously uh, and uh, where we had only about uh, 50 companies several years ago now you probably have about 500 companies. Lodi believes many more will lean towards energy conservation and will turn to electronics for ongoing solutions. This is probably going to be the technology that is going to be the uh, future of light and that's why our tagline is future of light. Oh, my God.